Good day, YouTube. It is the 10th of December, 2022. Um, this is my 1988 club car golf cart. It's a gas engine cart. These came with the uh, like 340 cc Kawasaki engine. Um, we got this thing running on a previous episode. In fact, it's uploading as we speak. And, uh, and it's been sitting for... A few years i thought it was only sitting for a year or two but it's been a little three or four or something like that based on the quality of the fuel we drained out of this thing last week anyway catch that video um, where we got this thing running again um actually runs really good and i've uh working on a choke mechanism and stuff for it so it's coming right along but uh what's going to happen is next summer my nephew my dad and i are going to follow a race series at seven different racetracks, eight consecutive days, and we're going to RV at all of the racetracks. So uh, my dad and nephew in one RV, I'm going to take my truck camper, which means I got room to tow something. Hmm. And having a vehicle to run around racetracks, or if we get pit passes and go into pits or whatever, have the means to get around, this would be great. But one, two, three people not going to fit well on a two-seater golf cart. So it is time to make this a four-seater golf cart. Um, so this big old brown box right there contains, yes, a back seat for this golf cart. So that's project, uh, one of the many projects um, I got lined up for this thing. The other thing is, you know, when you come back to the RVs and such after the races, it, it is dark. And as you notice, this is not equipped with headlights or taillights or anything like that. You can probably see to get back, but you might hit something, and uh, but people can't see you either. So um, on top of putting the rear seat on it, it is time to put some headlights on it. So I picked up this... Uh, uh, basic LED light kit with headlights, taillights, and so forth. And it is for the Club Car uh, DS model. Again, this is an 88 body style, best I could tell. I'm actually pretty sure the rear uh, plastic body's been replaced because this being a gas engine cart, that little porthole right there is for the battery charger. So the back body's off an electric cart. Um, but, you know, when these things were, you know, at golf courses or whatever, I'm sure they, when one died, they parted them out for other ones. And when a body got cracked, they just put one on. So it doesn't matter to me. Um, I've got quite a few videos on this golf cart on my channel. There's a playlist for the 88 Club car. Also under rust -Oleum paint jobs and such, um, we painted this thing, so... This has a, uh, oh, you know, spent a whole $10 painting. Um, you know, I keep a lot of uh, miscellaneous paint around here. So, uh, yeah, we we'll just threw some red Rust-Oleum on it, and there you go. So, um, golf cart's pretty cool. Actually, it runs really well. I'll fire it up for you. Um, we put some brand new tires, wheels, and hubcaps off of a brand new club car a couple, three years ago. When we were first working on it, I'll uh, I'll fire this up for you. I did have it running earlier today, working on a choke mechanism. Key on. Fired right up. There we go. All right, guys. So uh, I'm gonna have to get a, a tool for cutting this plastic. You notice when I was doing the body work and so forth, I avoided even fixing this flaw because I knew I'd be putting taillights on it and that's obviously where they go. So we'll uh, get the templates out. I'm sure this uh, headlight kit and such comes with a template. So we'll get those out and we'll get them drawn out on the plastic and figure out how we're gonna cut the plastic and uh let's get the headlights and stuff started we don't want to put the back seat on first because we need more access um i'm sure it'll just be in our way so 
Let's get started on headlights, shall we? I'll bring you back when we got something to show you. Where are my manners? Let's open this together. See what's in there. A little trick for using a blade like this. You don't want to go down too deep. So put your thumb on there. About like that. And, you know. Open. Because I haven't seen in here either. But, you know, it should be just basic light kit. Don't need anything crazy, but if you're going to make your street legal or something, you need, you know, the blinkers and all that jazz, so. which this should not have. So there's a wiring harness. Looks good. Hopefully there's a switch in there somewhere. Look at that. Nicely labeled. You know, the switch is, yeah, the head is buried in there. Let's look. Let's look. Sorry, if you cut those zip ties right there, you can reuse them. Not that I don't have a drawer full, but, you know, whatever. There's the switch. Huh. Basic switch, but, you know, there you go. Um... Can't remember. I, okay, I bought this on uh, eBay. It was just a, a little bit cheaper than one on uh, Amazon. So we got some screws, some zip ties, some instructions. Full color. Look at that. What is that? What do you know? And then. There's a tail light, basic old tail light. See three wires though. That must mean it has two filaments. Do you think? Okay. I like it. I like it. And a headlight. Obviously, there's two. Oh, it even comes with the. Uh, some reflectors. Free gift. High quality reflecto tape. Okay. Thank you for the free gift. Um, these headlights were expensive. I can't remember just what they were. 60 bucks, something like that. Maybe 65. Look at that. The LED headlights happening there. And we have three wires, so we got a marker light and a headlight and a ground. Plastico LED, LED, LED. Right on. Let's set it up here just for fun and giggles and whatever. See, that would be the other side. This side. Yup. Look at that. It's going to be awesomeness. Awesomeness. Alright, cool. Alright, now we'll open up the uh, paperwork and grab what I assume would be like a paper template. Because without it, we're going to make a mess of the fenders. Uh oh, it says for DS48 volt. We got a gas cart. It's better fit, by golly. Oh, templates. Templates. And then taillight. All right. We'll cut these out, get them uh, sketched out on the cart. Started cutting. All right, cool. All right, guys, we got the uh, template kind of taped on. Took a Sharpie and made the squares. We'll pull that template off and 
see if they look like they're in roughly the same shape <laughs> position yep hope they fit <laughs> this is it yeah once you cut them out good to go so anyway wish me luck i gotta find an appropriate tool for buzzing these out of there and uh yeah i'll be back all right it's a little bit nerve-wracking when you're cutting up something like that but anyway we got the whole cut and uh it fits in there fine um fit and finish on i mean this is an inexpensive light kit it it, it has gap here and below so i mean i don't know it it's not gonna fit super tight um I could trim that and drop it down a little farther, but there's you know there's a gap here as well. There'd just be more gap on the bottom, but I might drop it down farther. Um, there's plenty of room to do that, so still fiddling. Uh, I'll show you how I cut this out. I just had a, an abrasive wheel on the die grinder. Um, seems to do okay. I wish I had more of a cutter wheel because this kind of melts its way through, but that's all right. We'll cut for a little bit until the compressor kicks on, then I'll finish it off camera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that I've done one, I really was conservative cutting the hole. I can be conservative and it still fits, yeah, which means I leave a little. Um, I might cut it a little lower at the bottom again now that I've done one so I'll leave a little at the top a little extra at the top cut a little more at the bottom and we'll see how that one fits and we'll adjust that one if it's appropriate all right here we go start about raw at the uh... <laughs> I did uh, take this one here and cut just a little bit off the bottom. I mean, like a 16th to 32nd, somewhere in there. And just fit that gap just a little bit better. But it's going to have a little bit of gaps. If you've got a really nice cart or something, yeah, you probably don't want these real cheap uh, headlights. I don't know if the other ones fit better because it's the only set I've ever bought. But um, these are fine for this cart. Not complaining. For the price they're great um but again if you really want something that fits very well this ain't your this ain't your stuff the other thing too to remember too this abs plastic it's been out in the weather for a long time this front end was destroyed i repaired it in fact i cut through some of my repair on the uh, right side uh headlight so um it probably isn't the shape that it started life as. It's probably changed. So there you go. That's what we got. So let's get these screws out. They did provide us, looks like some stainless steel wood screws. So uh, let me uh, get this thing screwed in. Um, let's see if it'll self drill into the plastic. Because that'll leave all the meat that it can okay all right let's see if it'll self-drive itself let me step around you here i'll do the least noticeable one i'm going to put pressure down on this so that i've got the thing as tight as it'll go will it screw in without a small hole yes it will. No hole needed. Alright. We won't go crazy with those. 
we'll tighten them up by hand. Uh, we won't tighten them up tight with the drill. Let me get all these drilled in. All right, that looks pretty good. Got them all in. Let's uh, just check their tightness again by hand. We don't want to break anything, right? It's just plastic. Good. 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 Right. So, I think it's time to cut the tail lights in. I got a little body damage on the rear that I never repaired thinking that one day I'd put headlights and taillights on this thing. All right, good. All right, we're good with that. Good, good, good. All right, let's go look at the taillights. All right, we got the uh, template cut out and taped it on and drew them out and we're ready to cut this thing. There is inner fender wells in here. So we'll have to figure out how to get the wire in there. Shouldn't be any big deal. Um, might be fun to, uh, or more fun to, uh, pull it off of this lift, take it around, put it up on the two post lift where we have access to underneath and get a little higher, but uh, we'll see how this works out. Okie doke. The other thing I'm going to do, by the way, is cut that tailpipe off right there. You can see it is rattling the shackle. If I get my hand out of there, it'll focus. Somebody's done an exhaust on here. It's not that well put together. And it encroaches on the space for the rest of the air box and such on the inside. However, it doesn't sound too bad. It's pretty quiet. Um, so I'm going to cut that pipe off so it quits rattling. I, I see back in the day I tried some plumber's tape to get it pulled out of the way, but it uh, didn't work when I would drove it the other day. I could, it was just banging against so it, it just needs to go away. So I'll cut it. I don't know if I can fit something else on there or not, but we'll give it a shot. For now, I don't like the banging, but you know, with the back seat stuff on there, you don't want to smell the exhaust. So we might extend it out or turn it 45. I don't know, we'll fiddle with it. Let's uh, let's get these things cut though, shall we? All right, we got these rear holes cut. Got the lights in there. Now, the front of this golf cart is ABS plastic. The back is fiberglass, all right? Don't try to cram a screw in that. You'll just have all kinds of problems. Let's pre-drill them. thick there. Resist the temptation to uh, use a power tool here. Nice and tight. All right, I'll get these, uh, get the other one done, then we'll start running some wires. All right, it's wiring harness time. So the switch is here. And then the headlights are, you know, left and right. Doesn't matter what goes to what, because we don't have turn signals on this thing. So headlight switch, probably put that in the dash right there. Hope you can see that. Um, then we'll head to the headlights, these guys. Okay, we could take that front cowl off real easy. We made it. Because there's only four bolts in it, and I need to change them anyway. So we'll probably pull this off. 
we can get this front half of the harness in okay and then we got to get this harness towards the rear we'll swing by the battery here We'll hook that up, and we will hook this up to the battery, but I do have an auxiliary fuse holder coming that holds, I think I got a four or six circuit coming. Um, just ordered it today, so it won't be here for a while. Um, so we could add other things. So we'll, we'll move this into that uh, fuse box. And then we'll get these off to the taillight. So let me start stringing these, and I'll show you where they end up being placed. All right, gang, I'll show you how I routed things. So uh, we got the switch in the dash right there. That's the best spot to put it because I had already used <laughs> the other available places. I don't know, I'm going to leave that stupid practice golf etiquette sign because it's a golf cart, I guess. I don't know. Don't play the game. So, um, so with that in place, it went right through the dash. You're going to have to take the dash off or take the front off. Um, I took the front off because it was easier to route, so it wasn't hard to do. So this is that junction. So we got, you know, the left side here, right side there. I double tie wrapped here. I tie wrapped here for the one that goes up to the switch. And we went down between the aluminum frame rails there and we tied it to that bar that goes across the front get it out of the way of the uh, pedal the brake pedal okay so it follows under the frame under the frame under the body with between the frame rails pops up right here I tie wrapped it to the reverse cable I left the uh, battery wires here and continued um, to tie wrap it to that reverse cable and then right out the back to the tail light and across over to the other one and then I tie wrapped them here right at the end okay so nicely routed away from the exhaust away from suspension tie wrapped here okay the frame comes right straight back here so that's it that's the routing i can put these lights and step back in and, and we'll plug it in see if it works but i wanted to show you the routing before i filled up the holes i'll be back all right boys and girls we ready for the light show it's all hooked up the lights are down ready here we go in three two one Ooh. Yeah, they're awesome. Ooh. Let's check out the rear. She's glowing red. Oh, yeah. Looks wonderful. Very, very nice. Woohoo. Alright guys and gals, I appreciate you watching. We're gonna end this video here. Next we'll be uh, put the rear seat on, which is all stacked over there by the sliding door. And uh hopefully that's tomorrow, unless somebody uh, changes my plan for tomorrow anyway. Guys, thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing. Please give me a thumbs up on the way out if you wouldn't mind. And we'll catch you guys on the next video.